In my opinion, there's not a whole lot better than Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. So welcome. Welcome my fellow creatives. Uh, welcome my friends, my new friends who I haven't met yet. Uh, welcome my fellow apple juice enthusiasts because this is YouTube and they will flag me for anything. My name is Eric Edmonds. I've been a Canon photographer for I'd say about the last 10 years. Um, I was shooting on the Canon 5D Mark II and Mark III uh, until I broke my camera at Crabtree Falls in Virginia. So uh, to hold me over, I ended up switching to the Canon M50, which was a good camera, but I needed to get back into the full frame game. So you are currently watching me and you're experiencing everything that we're about to, uh, to do together, to adventure together on the Sony a7 III. Now, you might wonder, why the a7 III? Why not the a7 IV when it just came out? Um, I'm broke. Uh, it's a beast of camera, so if you've got it, great. I'm excited to see what memories you're able to create with that and um, all that you're able to capture out of life with it. But for me, the Sony a7 III, I think is going to be just fine. So, why are we here today? Well, I'm on a mission. As I am in the process of rebuilding my photography business, um, I'm also learning a whole new camera, a whole new operating system. I'm trying to get myself back into the full frame mindset. Um, so you're here, welcome, thank you. Today, we have got this beauty. This is the Sony FE 1.8 85mm. My goal for this entire day is to explore downtown Norfolk in Virginia and do a little bit of, you know, point of view street photography and see if I can come up with any kind of interesting images with this camera and this lens. Um, it is gonna be a little bit tricky. Uh, 85 mil, in my opinion, is probably not the easiest lens to use for street photography. Um, however, the compression on this thing is beautiful. The bokeh you can get from it is just amazing for, especially for the price. Um, I think I paid 450 for this thing, brand new. So that's the game plan. And if you're ready, I'm ready. I'm a sucker for cool lights like that. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's go this way. And the entire goal for today is to do some nighttime street photography. Um, but we're gonna make it a little bit interesting. We got the Sony FE 1.885 mil. So there's gonna be times where composition is gonna be a little bit tricky and I'm gonna have to kind of finagle my way around because I don't, it's a prime lens. I don't have the ability to zoom. So we'll see what we can get into. All right, so I just saw this scaffolding across the street. I wanna see if I can, uh, Let's see if I can get some people walking through it. All right, there's a group of people right there. Oh, 
I think I missed focus on literally every single one of those. Do you want me to walk down? Okay. Yeah, dang it, I missed focus. Ah. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out this camera, guys, so bear with me. Uh, we're gonna bump it up to 250. try to 2.0 see what we got there we'll push the iso just a tiny bit more or you can put it through yeah <laughs> oh wait 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 i don't think my autofocus is set the way it needs to be Oh, this would be a six shot with the BMW's tail lights right here. All right. All right, so let's take a look at that real quick. Super not straight, but I can, I can fix that in post. But yeah, that'd be pretty dope. Oh, I love the way that the lights are yeah. kind of reflecting in that one. We'll edit that in post and see what we can figure out. All right, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. I actually love, well, your eyes were open a second ago. I love how moody that looks. Ooh, I love the way the light is hitting your face on that one. Please tell me I got him doing some sort of trick. Uh, I was out of focus. Let's just hang around so I can nonchalantly turn around and shoot the skateboarder. You good, bro? So I was really, really way too close to him on that, but. Oh, that looks sweet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That looks cool. I kind of want to try again. Oh, uh, he's taking a break. <laughs> yeah, because there's literally like nobody out here. Just regular traffic. That dude walking actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like that one right there of him with the light going across his back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks sweet. All right, what else? So I'm actually gonna try to get a shot of this sign here. And you're dead to me. I was like, all right, and there's one less person to talk to. Oh, that actually is pretty dope. I like that. Yeah. Sweet. I did. So I wasn't recording, but I did take a couple quick shots of this guy's truck here. Um, and I'm going to send them to him as soon as I get them processed here. So, all right, onward. Let's see what we can find. I 
Oh no. I mean we 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 agreed that it was a cheap strap anyways. Yeah. Does the light work? We tell check it work, Grace. Huh? Does the light work? Yeah. Hey, check that out. <laughs> uh, yeah that's, that's actually cute. pretty dope i like yeah. that yeah was i recording for that yeah someone's recording <laughs> Woo! that makes me feel good car I don't know why, but this little pizza deal kind of looks cool. This little pizza card thing. You got the other pizza one? Yeah, I got the other pizza one turning, which looks sweet when I actually edited it in post, but yeah. That, uh, definitely did that landscape. That'll look pretty cool when I edit it in post. This would be a cool one once I added it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, babe, we got to go in here. Uh, all the arcade lights would look pretty sweet. Yeah, it wasn't as sweet as I hoped it would be. Oh, I love that neon sign. Hold on, let me get a through the window shot of that. It's really murky. I know. <sighs> that window is so dirty. Mm -hmm. That's just not playing right. Maybe maybe this window though. It's just as dirty. That's so dirty. Well, we're gonna go in there eventually, yeah. right? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and pack it down. Welcome back. All right, so um, let's dive right into it. There wasn't as many people as I thought, and that's because I goofed. Um, apparently it was college beach weekend at Virginia Beach at the oceanfront, and somehow I didn't know that. Sorry guys, but I think I came up with two things that I really did like from this entire shoot. First one is going to be this one, and I'm gonna put it up on the screen for you guys. It's this circuit social neon kind of through the window vibe. When I took this shot, at first I did not like how dirty the windows were. I was like, ah oh, man, it just, it makes it look like, it, it kind of distorts the lights, I'm not really feeling it, but when I put it into, into Lightroom and I started editing, I, I fell in love with the dirt on the windows. And it's crazy to me, but it just gives it this, this kind of grungy character that almost didn't exist until I started to bring some of the highlights up a little bit. Now, for the actual sign itself, I am blown away with the A7 III, okay? So the circuit social part is very, very bright in person. Um, it's, you know, like all neon signs, it is meant to grab your attention. But if you look down at the bottom, you'll see the Games, Drinks, Eats part underneath of it. 
And that's so cool to me because in real life, if you're standing in front of this sign in person, the games, drinks, eat part is so much darker than the circuit social part. And so the fact that I was able to recover that much information from the shadow detail in this camera, I, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm at a loss for words. My most favorite photo is this one. I don't know what side of the screen I'm gonna put it on, but it's gonna be up there. Um, ah, man, where do I begin? Okay, I know where to begin. Everyone likes to joke, Sony users for the whole orange and teal, orange and teal kind of thing. And yeah, I, I used to make those jokes too. But look at the orange and teals in this. Okay, so his shirt was actually yellow. Um, I purposely went through and brushed it to make it orange so it would pop out a little bit more. But the, 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 the richness of the coloration in this photo, the, uh, if you zoom in, you look at like all the detail in the ground, even in the shadows and how honestly little noise there is in this photo. I love that you can see that he's wearing a mask uh, I love that you can see, you know, the lines that he has cut in the back of his hair. Um, I love that you can see all the wrinkles and the little loop on his pants and uh, the colors in the shoes, even though I shot it uh, at kind of a slower speed, but there really wasn't too much blur. And I, I didn't have the ISO crank too high. So when I first put it into Lightroom, it was way too underexposed but I was able to recover so much detail from this photo, even though I goofed, even though I made a mistake. And then another thing too, if you look at the lights on the, the left side there and the buildings on the right side and just how they go all the way down the street and it's kind of, uh, when you're looking at this photo, it's kind of pulling your eyes into this stranger that we have. Um, but man, when, so when I take photos, right, I'm not just trying to take a clear photo. I want to capture life. I want to capture memories. I want to uh, have my photo be so powerful enough that it doesn't need a fancy caption or hashtags or some TikTok trending song or anything. I want my photos themselves to be able to captivate people, to pull them in and get them to stop and connect with life. And I, I, this photo to me is so powerful. Um, and I, I, man, I'm in love. I can say that, it's my photo, um, but I love this photo. So there we have it guys. Thank you for joining me. I'm not gonna ask you to like and subscribe and the bell notification and all that kind of stuff. Uh, every YouTuber does it and I'm not a YouTuber. I am a photographer. I am a fan of life and a fan of new experiences and a fan of adventure. Um, so all I'm going to say is thank you for being here. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys on the next adventure. Take it easy.